We're live. Not really, but uh, Mike Ryan is back in town. Welcome Good back to home see you, my to friend. San Antonio. He is a, a native son of San Antonio. We have talked several times. And, dude, we're so excited to have you back at Thirsty Horse tonight. Obviously, we're not in Thirsty Horse. We're on the bus. But what's been going on, man? Let's just catch up on music and life yeah. and just everything. Busy summer. Mm-hmm. We've been uh, we've been rock and rolling, enjoying it. But yeah, g- glad to be back here. It's been a minute since we've been to the Thirsty Horse and in San Antonio uh, in general. We just hadn't been here in a while, so always nice to come back home. We uh, had a nice round of golf at Fair Oaks this yeah. afternoon. Um, did good. Did yeah. good. You okay. Know, I've I've played worse rounds, and uh, <laughs> you know, so you beat the rain too. I think we did. Yeah, we got lucky because it was uh, the clouds came. It, it sprinkled on us a little bit, but it made for a comfortable afternoon on the links. So, uh, got me a nice New York strip for dinner. Oh, okay. Ready to get after it. I was gonna say, I was like, is there a spot that um, when you get back home, like you got to go eat at? Man, you know. I try not to like if I'm if I'm not working then yes I mean we'll go like you know guilty pleasure has always been Alamo Cafe yeah um, you know if we're in the area I try and stop by there or you know depending on what part of town um, El Mirador has always been a favorite okay. down if I'm downtown my folks used to live downtown so uh, or Meteors of course is yeah. a good one but. Yeah, the on show nights though I try not to indulge too much because it's hard to sing over a full belly. That's right of Mexican food anyway. So I just I kept it light tonight with the steak. And I think having the steak is kind of the way to go. Like MJ Michael Jordan it's a power would always move. have like steak, baked potato, or something before a game. Oh yeah. And uh, I think uh, before a night of like hard honky tonking, if you go with like a sirloin or something in a salad, mm-hmm. then you have enough protein. And enough to kind of get you through the night. Got to drink water and stuff, of course, too. Strip in a Caesar was yeah. what I went <laughs> Strip with Strip in a Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> that is the new go-to right here. I've never called yeah. it that, but that's great, man. <laughs> well, good deal. Um, talk about uh, just everything that's been going on music-wise, man. I, I took a little peek at your uh, your set list because it was hanging yes. out over there. And I saw you're kicking off the show with Die Running. And, dude, like when that came out, I was like, this is a banger. <laughs> and Thanks, we're playing man. the shit out of that. I'll edit that on a uh, Texas made, and like we still are, dude. Like that is a great song. Talk about Thank that song you. and how energetic the shows have been since you put that out in the new record. Man, so that was uh, that was one of the first singles that we put out off of this uh, the long cut record, and pretty much right away it made its way into the beginning of the set. It's bounced around a few times, but uh, starting the set with that one has been a recent favorite. It uh, kind of sets the tone for the night, I feel like, and and uh, yeah, it's it's good, man. This is this has been a great summer. We've been playing all over the place. We're about to go all over even more. So we're uh, kind of all over the country, going out to California and Midwest, Northeast. Uh, we got a bunch of shows that we're playing with other acts too. We're going out with Brantley Gilbert, Miranda Lambert. Um, got some other stuff with Pat Green and Josh Abbott, a bunch of festivals, and then, of course, our own shows in between. Yeah. So it's going to be a, a busy rest of the summer leading into the fall. Um, but, yeah, man, things have been going great. I've got uh, in um, August we're going in to start recording on the next record, okay. and I don't have any kind of a timeline for that yet, yeah. but whenever we get closer, I'll definitely keep you – in the loop there yeah. uh, whenever we get new music out you'll be among the first to get it very so, nice love that um yeah man it's uh it's been a good time this long cut record's done a lot of done a lot of cool things for us and and taken us some places we've never been before yeah. and brought us back to a lot of our regular spots as well and so we're uh we're excited about it but new music is not far away good so. good well, I always see your stuff on social and everything, and the last time that we were actually able to sit down and talk, it was at Rodeo, and I really think since that uh, opportunity to play AT&T Center at the time, and then like moving forward, dude, like you did the show with Morgan, and mm-hmm. then you've been out with Jordan Davis, and whoever is booking all this stuff, like they're able to, and you said like you got BG and Miranda and everything, like dude, they're able to pair you with such great people, like yeah, man. dude, like, and, and what a great opportunity for you being a Texan. Um, to just get out and show more folks how we do things. Heck yeah! No man, we've we've been very fortunate getting to play some really cool shows and and uh, yeah, we're enjoying ourselves thoroughly in the process. Yeah, so. 
Yeah, man. All right, I'm put you on the spot a little bit. Tell me like your top three um, non Texas artists that you've been able to play shows with. Like your favorite. Oh man. So far. Well, you know, uh, Brantley. Uh, we played a couple shows with him last year, and that was I. I, I, I don't want to say a surprise. Like I didn't think we would get along, but we just haven't really ever crossed paths. But the first time that we showed up. Like we got there in the morning, and their tour manager came and found us. He was like, "Hey, man, whenever y'all are up and around, Brantley's really looking forward to hanging out, and um, we're we're setting some stuff up for y'all to get together." It was like, "Man, that's just it's really cool." Like he didn't have to do that, you yeah. know, and to hear that he was well aware of who we are and what we're doing, and and really wanted to meet us and hang out. That's just always a nice surprise because you never know how it's gonna go when you're on the bill with some of the bigger opener or bigger acts that we play with, and um he was just really cool uh of course i guess this doesn't really count as a non-texan act because miranda's from texas but yeah she's, but you know uh, obviously big with you know nashville sure. for a long time and stuff too sure and we just played with her last week in midland it was great to reconnect with her and yeah. always a pleasure to get out and mix it up uh you mentioned jordan davis yeah. that was uh that was a really cool run too it's especially cool when you get to do multiple shows in a row like La it was last year when we went out with him and we did three dates in a row and i forget where we were but the one of them was in oklahoma and then they were all kind of spread out but that was another one they like we were playing all uh arenas and so mm -hmm. they have um uh, a lot more room inside and they would set up a pickleball court every day at sound check and so okay. they were just going hard with wow pickleball. pickleball yeah and did I not mean, expect that actually no i I didn't actually play any pickleball. You're like, what is I've, this? <laughs> I've still yet to play pickleball. Um, it looks like fun, but it's uh, it was just really cool. And uh, Jordan too was just like really accommodating. Man, he was he was it made it made a effort to meet up with us every day yeah. and hang out and just like shoot the shit. So, nice. Um, I think I don't know if I fully answered your question. No, that's that's good. I think that, Brantley though too. Check it out. I don't know if you realize this or not, or I don't know if people get people confused but you and Brantley and Jordan y'all all, all kind of got the same thing going on so it's like when yep. you see each other it's like that meme with the spider-man <laughs> like, yeah and it's like oh I like this guy immediately so I mean you got that going for you hey man yeah I'll take it there's I'll gotta be handsome devils right there's gotta be some other guys too that kind of got the same thing I'm trying to think right now Combs is a little different the beard is a little it's not as clean well, so. you know, it doesn't have to be. Everyone doesn't have to have the, you know, the, the, the what is it, the 300 Spartan, not, I'm, I want to say Spartan. Oh, yeah, like the Leonidas. Spartan. Leonidas, yeah. that's yeah. it. That was when I first started growing a beard. That was my inspiration. Yeah. And, um, and you know, I, I I don't hold the same stature. You know, I've got a, a little more meat on the bones and few hundred cheeseburgers ahead of hey, there you go. Leonidas, you know. The I, strip in the I'm, Caesar. Uh, yeah. You bet. Yeah, that's what it is. But, no, man, we uh, we like it anyway. the The beard isn't going away anytime soon. Okay, good. Yeah, <laughs> keep it, man. And I'm I'm sure uh, you just keep doing that. And there's gonna be other folks too that you see him and you're like, oh, this guy's here to rock, and you just you just feel it. So Heck yeah. that's good, man. I'm like super excited for you. And like I always Thanks, tell man. folks, I'm like, dude, like Mike Ryan is so good, and his songs are so good. And it's like for you to get out there and for more people to hear your music is just great for everybody that makes san antonio proud man that makes me proud it's good to hear um just just to be from here and you're from here and all that good stuff i don't want to get mushy on you or anything like that but um how many how many songs let me ask you this real quick how many songs you got like stockpiled right now can you tell me that like for for the new record you're looking at so ready to go i think we've got like seven or eight mm -hmm. but um i've uh, i've got a few like maybe two or three others that are in some form uh they're they're not quite ready to go uh, lay down yet but they're far enough along where i'm excited about them yeah. and looking forward to getting those finished up okay and i mean you as much as i would cuts though too so i don't have any yet i mean i've, I've always been open to that yeah um but and you're, I, you're writing everything though sure okay good yeah, man good and so whenever we get Mike closer Ryan. to recording we'll probably take in some outside songs yeah. just to listen a little more but um yeah man I've, I've always tried to to be as involved as i can be on the writing side and uh a lot of what i've written uh, over the last 10 years has been co-write so it's not like 100 percent written by yeah. me 
Um, but there's but you're a couple. A part of it. Oh, for sure. Man, that's a, that's a big deal to be a part of yeah, it. Yeah, man. I I just always have appreciated writing and and you know it, the stories that I'm telling when I involve other co-writers, they can't be 100% just true to me because the other guys are saying their thing too. So, but it's it's just always been important to me to be involved there and and to try and uh, to write as genuinely as i can uh for you know what we've been doing over the last 10 or so years yeah 10 plus years been a little bit but um anyway man yeah it's uh it's exciting but with the album that we're about to record coming up we're definitely going to start listening a little more to outside stuff as well but um i'm pumped about getting back in we're i'm yeah. going to get my my buddy that produced my first couple of records and wrote uh, the whole bad rep album with me to produce this next one and so i'm just excited about getting God. back in with him yes and there's just we've we've come up with some really cool stuff before and i'm looking forward to doing more of that Dude, coming up that so. is super exciting like we're definitely looking forward to <laughs> new mike ryan music that Hell is yeah. good well hey man uh i i know we're getting close here so let's cut it i'm gonna let you get ready for the show yes sir uh it's so good to have you home and here at thirsty horse tonight right. so we're looking good forward to, to it and uh, we'll talk to you again soon man you bet man mike ryan on texas made